A hot air balloon that is moving above a neighborhood has an angle of depression of 28 degrees to one house and 52 degrees to a house down the street. If the height of the balloon is 650 feet, estimate the distance between the two houses. So they've already done some of the work for you by showing you these alternate interior angles. So if this is 28, then this one's also 28. Um, and then if this is 52, then this part is also 52. From there, you're going to use your trig functions and set up equations for basically both triangles. So what we're going to do here is we're going to see from the 52, 650 is going to be opposite and X is going to be the adjacent. <clears throat> so if I have O and A, I'm going to be using tangent. So I'm going to set up an equation that says tan of 52 equals opposite over adjacent, which will be 650 over X. Um, now in this case, I am going to want to there's a couple different ways to do this, but since I only have one variable, I would suggest that you solve for x. Now notice the x is on the bottom, so basically what's going to happen is you're going to bring x to the top, and then you're going to divide by tan 52. So x will be 650, divide by tan 52. Okay, and I'm actually going to leave this in this format so that my answer can be the most accurate as possible. So then I'm going to set up my other equation, which is going to be for the angle 28. Now notice you still need a right triangle, so you're still, basically you're working with this really big triangle here. So again, I have the opposite, and the adjacent will be x plus y. So I can say that tan of 28 degrees is equal to 650 over x plus y. But basically what I want you to see is I want you to see that we actually already know what x equals from over here. Um, so again in this circumstance I'm going to switch the tan 28 with the x and y so I'm going to end up with x plus y over here equals 650 divided by tan 28. And remember, I want the distance between the two houses. So my goal from the beginning was really just to find y. So basically what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this thing and I'm going to plug it in for x. Now, okay, I guess I can do this two ways. Let me say to you, all right, take the x and minus it from this side. So you get y equals 650 over tan 28, and then you're gonna minus x. Well, we already know x equals this, so y is gonna equal 650 tan 28 minus 650 tan 52, okay? And if you had solved this and rounded and put it in over here, that would have worked as well. So basically, whatever you want to do is fine. Um, so for the fraction 650 over tan 28, close the brackets, minus new fraction 650 over tan 52. Again, make sure your calculator is already in degrees. And the answer here let's see it doesn't say what to round to so we'll go ahead and since it's in feet let's just round um, to the nearest tenth so the y value is 714.6 feet and since it's a word problem it's probably good to answer in words the distance between the two houses is approximately 6.5. I say approximately because we rounded, but really <clears throat> it would be fine if you left this word out. 
714.6 feet. Okay.